Movie based on a book opens with an opening book cliche. 78 minute movie spends over 2.5 minutes on opening logos and credits. Lord Tim Hudson, not a lord. He was an English DJ who worked in Los Angeles. Do you think production manager Don Duckwall decided that with a name like this, he had no choice but to work at Disney? Also, hilariously, this movie is one letter off from having its music written by George Burns. Many strange legends are told of these jungles of India. Narration. What happened to Mowgli's parents? I understand that this is being told by the panther, and he wouldn't know, but this river doesn't seem too treacherous. If their boat got broken, it would seem logical they would still survive. And if some animal got them, it doesn't seem logical that it would just leave the baby in the basket. Even if it was full, I'm sure it would still take Mowgli home for dessert. It was a man cub. These animals all know our language and are more eloquent than most humans, yet they don't know that we call our young babies. I would have obeyed my first impulse and walked away. With all due respect, I think your first impulse was probably to eat him, or at least maul. <laughs> so, basically, Moses without the mom dropping him off portion of the story. A family of wolves I knew had been blessed with a litter of cubs. Oh, well, this should work out nicely. Even if the wolf cubs are already moving around and will continue to get more agile, while the human will basically be useless for the next eight or nine years, at a minimum. Also, the movie suggests panthers and wolves are good buddies and not enemies or competitors for the same food sources, as logic would dictate. Oh, I knew there'd be no problem with the mother, thanks to the maternal instinct. And as far as speaking English or changing diapers without opposable thumbs, well, I didn't get... I wasn't so sure about Rama, the father. Rama doesn't immediately think Mowgli is food. I wonder which cub will be the shunned runt now that there's new milk competition. Also, does Raksha think she's going to nurse this human baby? I'd like to see how that works. Actually, I take that back. Ten times the rains had come and gone. So? What the f kind of measurement of time is counting the rains? Do you even count? <laughs> Mowgli inexplicably ages at the same rate as the other wolves. Does that mean that he's going to look like an 80-year-old man at 12 years old? And all the wolf cubs loved Mowgli for being different and not remotely stealing their thunder. I knew that someday he would have to go back to his own kind. Have you ever researched feral children? It is f***ed up and sad. Spoiler alert, Mowgli will not do well with people. Not at all. Because Shere Khan, the tiger, had returned to their part of the jungle. Wolves and panthers and bears won't harm a human, but a tiger definitely will for some reason. Now it is my unpleasant duty to tell the boy's father. Rama, uh, come over here, please. Rama, who was sitting five feet away, somehow couldn't hear them talking about sending Mowgli to the man village. Because Shere Khan has returned to this part of the jungle, and he has sworn to kill you. He has? He's sworn to kill a man cub he doesn't even yet know exists? And Shere Khan is not going to allow you to grow up to become a man? Just another hunter with a gun? He should also explain that he has no access to guns because he lives with wolves, who are notoriously bad at acquiring and using guns. Mowgli, who has never even seen another human, has still developed a sense of modesty living among the animals who lick themselves. Also, he's been getting regular haircuts with bangs. Up this tree. Be safer up there. Bagheera is going to eat his words like a snake eats a man cub. Say now, what have we here? Disney's then propensity to reuse voice actors led to so much childhood confusion. Like, why is Winnie the Pooh evil now? Oh, go away and leave me alone. Good job, kid. But more importantly, how heavy a sleeper is this man cub's protector cat? Bagheera doesn't just smack the out of Ka's face right here. So you can look out for yourself, can you? Um, yes, he can. You basically saved both your asses from the snake attack just now. Why are you such a dick? One, two, three, four, keep it up. What are they patrolling? Shere Khan is in this part of the jungle, and Ka can hypnotize whoever he wants, apparently. They're just wandering around the forest, not being effective. Is there only one young male elephant? No wonder elephants are in danger. My feet are killing me. I'm putting in for a transfer to another herd. Another endangered herd? What's the freaking point, elephant dude? Dress up that line! Thankfully, this 78-minute movie has time for lengthy elephant military discipline scenes. Phew, am I right? Also, I wonder if there's elephant HR. If not, they clearly need it. I don't have any of whatever he's eating. Wipe off that silly grin, soldier. This is still going on. You just forgot our son. I don't think Hathi forgot their son as much as their son decided to forget how to march. <laughs> if an elephant never forgets, why do they keep forgetting to give themselves enough space to turn? Even though they were f***ing walking, these elephants crash into each other like they're in a Paul Haggis movie. He said an elephant never forgets. <laughs> it's not funny. Actually, it is. Also, Bagheera has zero sense of humor. Bagheera tries to disrobe a human child. Um, Bagheera, why don't you have a seat over here? Doobity doo. Yes, it's a doobity doo. This bear enters singing about doobies and is naturally the most chill character in this movie. He's also a doobie bear ex machina on the timing, but still, I'm not sure how many sins I can award an actual doobie bear, so we'll go with the standard one. Why, oh, I, I shouldn't have left him alone. And it's not the last time you will leave him alone. Panthers must have short-term memory loss. Oh, no. It's Baloo. 
That shiftless, stupid jungle bum. How does Bagheera know everyone in the jungle? The jungle is huge. Surely we will run into someone he isn't on a first name basis with. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me. Tell that to the bees. How has a child who has lived his entire life in the jungle learned basically zero survival skills? Of all the silly gibberish. I don't need you sinning the movie too, Bagheera. 40 seconds of back and body scratching make me super glad this movie is... Wait, it's barely over an hour and a half long? And it's still full of bullshit like the back scratching nonsense? If you act like that bee acts, uh-uh, you're working too hard. Movie manages to disrespect bees, who actually work super hard and don't complain about it. For the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. This grown adult bear bathes with a mostly naked human child. Why, you flat-nosed, little-eyed, flaky creep! That's racist. Baloo survives this. Though the movie makes them out to be villains, these monkeys look like they know how to party. This monkey looks exactly like Jim Jarmusch. I think the monkey also just invented air guitar. The coconut makes a good monkey mouth. I'll give him that, but none of them are wearing grass skirts. Also, he still looks like a bear. Tom and Jerry, basically. Everyone survives this. Mowgli seems to have man's ability to get into trouble. Baloo got in just as much trouble as he did. I don't think the problem is exclusive to men. You can't adopt Mowgli as your son. Why not? How, how can I put it? I have an idea for how you could put it. He's a different f***ing species. And I'll take care of him. Yes, like you did when the monkeys kidnapped him, huh? Or like you did when the snake almost ate him. He hates man with a vengeance, you know that. Because he fears man's gun and man's fire. Shere Khan may have a point. But I love that kid. Sure, after that half a day singing while floating in the river, Blue's definition of love does not hold up to scrutiny. I mean the Necessities. Accidental guilt trip song. Oh, I don't care. As long as I'm with you. These two got real codependent real quick. Mowgli needs to get to the man village to find a therapist, and Baloo should find a therapist. I'm sorry. You wouldn't marry a panther, would you? Do the animals have weddings, or are they just familiar with the human construct of marriage? It's hard to tell where the anthropomorphizing line is in this movie. Mowgli runs away from Baloo after finding out he's going back to the human village, and somehow Baloo loses him and can't keep up. Oh, we march from here to there, and it doesn't matter where. And by their own admission in their song, their battalion is completely pointless. Also, movie rips off the elephants from Dumbo, a movie which was released, believe it or not, 25 years prior to this one. Wow. Who knew, right? Is lost. He ran away. How delightful. Bagheera loudly explains this to Hathi, conveniently with an earshot of Shere Khan, a character we haven't seen for this entire film until now. What? A female leading my herd? Utterly preposterous. And that's racist. The man cub and I are friends. He would think their 20-second conversation would qualify them as friends, seeing that there are no other small elephants and he probably has no other friends. Deforestation. I don't trust anyone anymore. Mowgli in 1967 perfectly sums up my 2000. This and monkeying around are basically the only two puns in the movie, which is an incredible amount of restraint. If it were made today as a cartoon, Bagheera would literally have a bag for an ear and Baloo would be blue, blatantly reusing animation. A legitimate zin. That's not how snakes walk. You remember the crows from Dumbo? Well, now they're vultures. Deal with it. Hey, Flaps. What we gonna do? So after the Beatles turned down these roles, they couldn't find any other notable British rock group to take their place? Or nix the vultures Beatles idea altogether? Literal group of vultures tried to sing Mowgli back to happiness. Run? Why should I run? Why should you run? Even the tiger who wants to kill him is incredulous at Mowgli's lack of survival instinct. There's no game in it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Whoa. Why do I think a bear would straight up own a tiger's ass in a fight? Am I wrong there? That bite was really hard, yet Baloo's ass is still intact. Not even a flesh wound. Shere Khan needs to check the sharpness of his teeth if he wants to maintain a certain aura of fear. Also, where the f*** is Bagheera right now? They couldn't have picked him up three minutes ago when Shere Khan first showed up. A conveniently timed and placed lightning bolt is all that saved Mowgli and Baloo. Forget about those, they ain't nothing but trouble. That's the sound of a bear that can't get his act together enough to find a nice girl bear and settle down. I want a better look. Mowgli begins puberty. I must go to fetch the water. Even Jungle Book, with a nine-year-old male protagonist, has to insert some traditional male-female sexual marital dynamics into the story. They don't cut to 20 years into the future. Mowgli is smoking a pipe and reading a book in his living room equipped with a suspiciously gray bear rug. To its credit, movie only has like 40 seconds of closing credits. Maybe that's because they front-loaded that But still, kind of a nice breath of fresh air. Once in removed.
Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the other has to say. You know what would make the Jungle Book better? Mowgli fighting against the forces of evil, with intense flashing backgrounds, totally different story and characters, and done in an animation style originating in Japan. Also, go ahead and remove Mowgli entirely. Wait, Crunchyroll's already taken care of it? <coughs> yes, that's right, because Crunchyroll is an anime streaming service that offers the largest, most diverse collection of professionally subtitled anime series, and Crunchyroll Premium lets you watch them all in HD with no ads. Crunchyroll Premium also gets you new shows as soon as one hour after they air in Japan, with subtitles. The best part, you can enjoy it all free for 30 days when you go to crunchyroll.com slash cinemasins. Yes, that's a month of unlimited professionally subtitled anime, manga, and drama titles that you can enjoy on all your devices. All you have to do is click the link in the description or head to crunchyroll.com slash cinemasins to get started.